Hello, Technology Crazy here, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix your iPod for multiple different reasons or problems. Okay, so if your iPod is st stuck on the booting sequence, if you get the little Apple sign and it will not stop loading, um, this will work. Or if you want to downgrade your iPod, this is crucial if you want to download a downgrade. So, first you want to hold down the top button until it says uh, slide to shut down. You want to completely shut it down. And by the way, you do not need to be jailbroken for this. This is with all the iPod touches, one, uh, one first gen and second gen. Not really sure about the th sure sure about the third gen though. But yeah, okay. So once it's completely off, I'll just do it for you, and then I'll explain what I did. Okay. So what I did is I held the top one for three seconds. Then while I'm hold, still holding the top one, I pressed the bottom one with the top one for 10 seconds. Then after the 10 seconds, I released the top one to hold the bottom one. And once again, don't do this in more than one sequence. You all want to do it in one smooth sequence. Don't hold the top one for three seconds and let go and then press the next one. You want to do it all in one smooth se sequence. So hold down the top one for three seconds. Continue holding, press the bottom one for 10 seconds with the top one still holding, and then let go of the top one, and the bottom one you should hold for 30 seconds. Okay, so now my iPod's in DFU mode. I'm going to show you what it's like on the computer when I plug it in. Okay, so when I plugged my iPod into iTunes, this message showed up iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used in iTunes. Now, if you had problems with the boot up, you probably realize that you cannot plug your iPod into the computer and iTunes recognize it because it cannot get past the boot up. Um, this is also really helpful if you cannot um, downgrade. For many firmwares now, iTunes has made it so you cannot downgrade. This will fix it all. So, if you did not get this far, you want to rewind in my tutorial and you want to check it out again you probably held something down in the wrong seconds or something like that uh, do trial and error until you get this far if this video d did not uh, help you you can always view a different video video so once you want to click OK and this is the screen that you see normally but without all that other information now first you can either click restore by itself and it will restore to the firmware you were just on or you can hold down shift and while you're holding down shift, click restore. And you can click the IPSW that you want to restore to. So you can downgrade to 3.0 um, if you're on 3.1.1 or 3.1.2 if you really want. Um, and no uh, problem will come up. Because normally iTunes will say does not recognize uh, this file is invalid or something like that. So um, please subscribe. I'm not one of those beggar that beggars that ask for subscribers. If you want, it would be really nice. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Um, I make these tutorials to help people, not to become famous. So if this helped you, um, just leave a comment. It would really encourage me and I'll make more videos yet to come. So I think that's all. Um, and if this problem does not, uh, if, did, if this video did not help your problem, just message me um, and I'll try to respond to it and fix that problem. Anyways, bye.